Hello and welcome back to my channel, Miami Star Tarot. Today I am doing a reading for Virgo. Virgo, this is your sexual energy for December 2020. Now this could be your sexual energy towards someone, someone's sexual energy toward you. It could also be thoughts between each other and maybe some actions between you and somebody else. So again, this is for Virgo, Sexual Energy, December 2020. Okay, so let's do one more good shuffle. All right. Got the deck, and then I need six cards. For Virgo for December 2020. There goes the first one. It is the same card Aquarius got right off from the get go. All right, some self restraint. Oh, no, that's not Virgo. Sorry, I'm, that was not Aquarius. That is um, indecisive, at a crossroads. Decisions. All right, Ten of Pentacles. I need four more cards, please. It's the first time I've had the Fool. This is a new deck to me, so first time I've had the Fool so far in the read. Three more cards, please. Three more cards for Virgo. There we go. The lovers. Second time the lovers has appeared for the sexual energies. Oh, there it is. I need one more after this. One more card, please, for Virgos. One more card for Virgo. There it is. Ace of Cups. Okay, and your underlying energy is the Two of Wands. Decisions. Okay, you have two twos. So I feel that you are deciding between old and new energy here, Virgo. So you're thinking about what is set, what's in the past, what's stable, what you know, what's familiar to you, and venturing out and finding something or somebody new, okay? I feel that you're ready, um, I think, to, to look for love. I think it's been a while since you have, um, I think, explored love or went out and looked for love. So I feel that you have the two of swords here and I think that you are torn between an old love, finding, um, maybe start trying to strike up another opportunity with somebody in your past. You have the full card, which is uh, beginning, starting over, taking a leap of faith, taking a chance. Could be with something new, but in this case, because you have the Ten of Pentacles, which is long-term relationship and a final conclusion, like a marriage card or someone that you've been with a long time, I feel like you have this feeling of nostalgia for somebody that you would like to try to pursue once again, okay? And you're torn between that 
and it looks Virgo like there may be somebody that you either have recently met or somebody that you've had your mind on aside from this person right here that you have recently met that you're highly highly attracted to okay um, it looks to me like this person has the same feelings toward you you have the lovers card here with the king of swords and the ace of wands I feel like with the ace with the sorry excuse me the king of swords that you are stuck between passion and desire and starting a relationship with this person or starting something very highly sexual and something very um, new with them. So it could, it could be that you guys right now are friends, but I'm not sure that you want to venture into that side of things right now. I think this person has either made it very clear to you that they would like to have an opportunity to maybe spend the night with you or pursue a sexual type of relationship. But because Virgos are very analytical and high, you know, deep thinkers, I think that you are trying to, to figure out what it is that you want before you initiate or you accept this offer of either sexual love or opportunity to to explore that option with this person because you do have this person up here on your mind as well it's almost like you don't want to give this person a chance until you figure out what you want to do about this person up here okay now i don't see a lot going on with this person up here as far as their feelings toward you and wanting to pursue anything uh, more than just friendship. This person down here, I think, is ready and very willing. Even if it's just more of a sexual relationship, I think this person is very willing to explore that part and maybe have like a friends with benefits type of relationship with you. You do have, you know, like I said, in between the sexual passion and desire and actually beginning something with them. You do have this King of Swords, and I think the King of Swords is, you know, it's an it's an air quality, and it could be because you just, you don't want to string along this person. I don't think that you have the mental energy, as Virgos normally don't, to entertain something that you're not really willing to carry through to the end. And I think that you you recognize as much as you want to have this opportunity with this person, even if it's a one night stand. And you know what? It I'm not saying that you won't do it, but I think I, I think there's a high possibility that you do, but I think that you kind of keep yourself in check and you don't you don't open up the door or present many opportunities for this to happen. And I think it's it's just you, the way you are and the way you think and you want to be, you're kind of very businesslike with things. Um, and I'm not encouraging you to do it, but I do think that, you know, you're kind of in a crossroads here where nothing's really going to happen up here with this past energy that you have. I think with this two of wands, what it's saying is just take take a chance for something new, Okay. And like, again, I'm not encouraging you to do it, but I guess I kind of am that maybe it might do you some good, Virgo, to go out and experience, um, even if it's just one night or two nights of passion or maybe a week or a month, that maybe in this month of December, if you can just take yourself mentally out of the place that you're in right now as far as feeling some level of responsibility. Yes, you need to be responsible. Yes, this person wants something else with you too. They don't just want love and passion. You don't just have the Ace of Wands here. Um, although Ace of Wands can be about relationship as well, but you know, this this person, there, there are emotions and I feel like you may have some emotions attached, but I think because you're trying to do the right thing and you don't want this person to walk away feeling used, that you're trying to be level-headed and think, I'm not going to string this person along. But I think this person is very open to having a couple liaisons with you regardless of what happens and maybe perhaps being 
more of a friends with benefits situation, I think they would be fine with it. I think you just have to be kind of upfront. And I do, I, you know, I do feel like there's a possibility, Virgo, that you may end up exploring this option at some point with this person. This person's someone that is very attractive uh, to you and you're also very attractive to them. They are very health conscious and I think that you are too. And I think that that is something that could bring you guys together. Um, maybe having something in common, you know, going to the gym, working out, cooking healthy food, like things like that. So they, de they definitely have some things in common with you. And I know that that's um, what Virgos kind of like. They like to take care of themselves. And I think this person has that aspect um, that you do as well. And honestly, I think that if you're very honest with this person, I think they've probably picked up on this relationship thing here and they understand where you're coming from. And I think, to be honest, the friends with benefits would be just fine with them for now. So that's you know entirely up to you, Virgo, what you wanna do with that. But I mean, you definitely have um, some, some opportunities there for some sexual adventures, okay? So that's all I have for you, Virgo. Thank you for visiting my channel, Miami Star Tarot. Bye-bye.